buddy. Yo, what is up, guys? It is your boy, Jason TV, saying welcome to another you know, WWE 2K23 My Rise Vidya. And yes, yes, y'all, I know what you're thinking. Bruh, didn't you already just finish the uh, My Rise stuff? What the hell, man? Now, uh, we still have to uh, go through the lock My Rise story. So, yeah, that being the case, let's go ahead and jump right into this thing thing. He's the next big thing. He's been a dominant force around the world. He's a future world champion. He's can't miss. He's the main event. He's a lock. 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 I am the lock. The lock coming to Raw. All right, y'all. Y'all know the deal. I'm gonna go ahead and make this original custom character um, come to life, if you will, and we'll get this party started. So, yeah. I am so close to having this title renamed in my honor. Can you imagine? The Sammy Continental Championship has a nice ring to it, if you ask me. Oh my god, who the hell cares? All I have to do is defend it tonight, and WWE will have no choice but to give in to popular demand and make the change. I have no idea who I'm facing, but it doesn't matter. I am going to beat whoever it is, and you will never, ever see the Intercontinental Championship again. Wouldn't it be easier just to make a custom title? <clears throat> Bruh. Jim Cornette would be proud of this. Yeah, right. <laughs> just saying. Dude looks like a cross between The Rock and John Cena. <laughs> With that attire, man. Come on now. The Lark says, Know your role. And shut your hole. The Lark putting you on lockdown. Oh crap. Of the self, never go for that move again. Okay, I'm pretty sure I hit Y that time. Screw you. <clears throat> oh, we talking. We talking now. Damn it, ref. The 
Four and one taunt and it didn't give it to me. Now I can't do another one. What the hell? Okay, come on now. This is getting downright silly now, game. Come on, stop messing with your boy. We got time for this buffoonery. Shenanigans. It's over, Sammy. Dress up. Oh, dude, he was right there. How could you miss him? In that ring. Sir. <clears throat> Who ya? Oh, 
Ah, that was earlier. <clears throat> there he is. Ready for your big raw debut tonight? Yeah. Can't wait to get out there. Good. We can't wait either. This has been a long time coming. <clears throat> and you've earned it. Thanks. Hey, what's up with the camera? She's been following me around since I got here. Oh. Talent relations didn't tell you? It's for this documentary thing they're shooting on you. I'm sorry, I'm terrible with names. It's Cat, right? Yep, Cat with a K. K A T. Sorry I didn't introduce myself earlier, but when I'm shooting these, I gotta be a fly on the wall. You're going to be seeing a lot of cat over the next year. Gotta document the rise of the next big thing. The future world champion. The lock. Whoop, whoop. I've been meaning to talk to you about that whole the lock thing, by the way. I, can I just use the name I've used my entire career? I mean, that's how the rest of the world knows me. Yeah, but that's not how the WWE Universe knows you. We can't assume they've seen any of your matches before this. I think a lot of people have. Isn't that how WWE found me? Look, this is typical for superstars who come up outside <clears throat> the system. WWE likes to put their spin on things, and 99% of the time, it's a huge improvement. Okay. Don't know about that. Doesn't the name sound too much like The Rock? Agreed. Sure does. Do you mind? Well, excuse me. As a new and improved version of yourself. We have a proven track record with this sort of thing. Do you know? You just need to trust the process. Is that what you're required to say now that you're office? No. Corporate requires me to say and do a lot of things, but that's not one of them. I don't know. It feels restrictive. I just want to be myself. I hear you, but it's not just a nickname. The entire WWE machine is behind this. We have a huge entrance planned with Pyro, a championship opportunity, New gear? <laughs> They're shooting this whole documentary about you. And we got this for you, too. Get it? A lock? <laughs> Is that left over from John Cena's chain gang days? Uh, Dr. Hey, Thugonomics days, to be more exact. Things worked out okay for him, didn't they? Guess so. I gotta run. But I promise, this is gonna be fine. Just trust the process, and it'll all work out. Because remember, you're the lock. Things were up for Cena because Stephanie noticed his freestyle skills, so they went with the rapper gimmick. Bruh. We good here, or...? Yep, got what I needed. That's a cut. Bruh. Week two on Raw. Let's see what they have in store for me. Can't be any crazier than last week, right? Hey, I didn't get the chance to say hi last week. That was a hell of a debut. Thanks, Gabriel. Yeah, <laughs> call me Gabe. Excuse me, Gabe, can you turn the camera and introduce yourself? Seriously? I've been in WWE for 10 years. I think whoever's watching will know who I am. <laughs> we probably won't use this, but just in case. Fine. I'm Gabriel Slade. Three-time U.S. champion, two-time intercontinental champ, multi-time tag champion, and all-around good guy. Does that work? Thanks. Anyway, just wanted to welcome you to WWE. I know it can be hard sometimes for people to get acclimated here. It's going okay so far, but yeah, it's a bit of an adjustment since I didn't come up to the performance center. Or even work the U.S. scene much before this. Okay, well let me give you some quick tips to fit in. Make sure you fist bump and or shake everyone's hand every time you see them. Be willing to give up your first class seat if there are veterans and coach. And uh, never sneeze around the big boss. Never. Well, I don't want to overwhelm you, but if you ever need any help or advice, I got your back. <laughs> I think I'm good, but thanks. All right. Later, Locke. Call me champ. Okay, champ. That was Bruh. a good dry run. Now, let's do another take without the interruption from the Raw Welcoming Committee. <laughs> Jeez, no wonder that guy has never really made it. Too friendly. 
I don't think we got it. I need to go get changed. Uh, Gabe has a pretty impressive resume. Alright, story complete. He's a lock. So we got the lock. Uh, Tony's unlocked. But anyway. Oh, look at poor Sammy with the neck brace. Am I supposed to feel sorry for you? Because I don't. Wow. Look who it is. Sammy, what happened to your neck? <laughs> don't get cute with me. You know exactly what happened. I had no idea who I was facing, and as a result, I lost, suffering emotional and physical damages after you assaulted me with that safe. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! I am going to sue you for everything you're worth. I'd rather take you on in the ring than in the courtroom, but it doesn't look like you're in any condition to do that. No, nope. I'm not, thanks to you and your shenanigans. But maybe we can work something out. I won't sue under the following conditions. First, when I'm ready, I get a rematch for my title. And second, you no longer use the safe as part of your entrance as it will cause further emotional distress, putting me at an unfair disadvantage. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! I actually already told management I was done with the safe. Anyway, just let me know when you're ready to lose to me again. And in the meantime, I have one other condition to prevent legal action. First, you must face my hand-picked opponent, so I can rest up and do some extra scouting. Are you serious? Anyway, my shenanigans are far better than your buffoonery, I'll tell you that much. But anyway, uh, sure, maybe we'll revisit this. Sure. Who do you want me to go up against? Oh, you'll find out in the ring. Not a great feeling when you don't know who you're facing, is it? <laughs> Definitely not. Good luck. You buffoon. Anyway, uh, let's see here. So if we do this better safe than sorry story, we unlock Sammy's neck brace. Let's do this. <laughs> Sammy say something about the safe, maybe some kind of revenge. 
sure what happened when the lock did you. With the deranged Sami Zayn calling the shots, nothing is off limits. Yeah. Whatever the plan is, Sami looks to be maneuvering the lock toward the stage. And the lock's helpless after taking that blow from his own chain. And there it is. Rich Holland has brought out the lock safe. What the heck is their plan? Belly to belly suplex on the unforgiving stage. Now what are they going to do? Is Sami Zayn trying to tip the safe over on top of the lock? Those things weigh like a thousand pounds. This is way worse than what the lock did to Sami. Our Intercontinental Champion is going to be seriously injured. This is bad. Especially oh, with hell. Someone gets squashed. The well, Lock certainly looks frustrated with himself, or Gabriel Slade, or maybe all of the above. He should just be happy he's walking out of here on his own two feet and not getting peeled off the stage. All right, y'all. I think this will be a good stopping point for this video. I really want to get the um, his moves set up as well, so. I really hope you guys are enjoying the WWE 2K23 vidgets so far, especially the My Rise series. Uh, can't wait to finish off this men's My Rise series so we can get into showcase mode. Yeah, at the end of the um, the Legacy My Rise story, um, I forgot to mention that we were going to look at showcase. So, uh, anyway. With all that being said, don't forget to like, comment, and of course, share, subscribe. Make sure y'all hitting that like too, by the way. The like helps with the algorithm so your boy's channel can get picked up. So these videos can get picked up. So more people can watch. That would be very much appreciated. And uh, yeah. So y'all have a blessed one. Catch y'all next one. Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, What's up with you Jason JV. What up Jason JV. I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason you are my homeboy. My guy. Don't call me guy pal. Don't call me buddy pal. Much love to you JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, Chief? I didn't see that last one after the next video. I'm going to say what's up, Chief. Keep your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you're sad. If you're sad, if you're sad, you're sad, if you're happy. I'm going to be too happy. I'm going to be expecting shit. Because I know you're curved all the time. So you're ready to be on the swerve. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications. And if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it. Yeah.